exactly ideal baseball conditions with the rain coming down, but first pitch is just around the corner. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Salt Lake Bees and the Sugarland Skeeters. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. And stepping in, Dexter Fowler. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The 1 1. Popped him up. Stubbs moving to his left. He's got it one away. Stepping in next, Seven. Joe Adele. The left fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. Verlander into his motion, ready with the 1 1 pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting so wet. I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Here now, the 2 2. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. So stepping in is Ross Adolph. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Still even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Okay. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Another payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Striding in is Michael Brantley. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Swing and a liner. And Brantley will reach. He's got a base hit. That is good. The seven fielder. At the plate, Ronnie Dawson. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So now here is Taylor Jones looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. Fastball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. Next to hit, number 13. He stands in for the first time in this one. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ah, this could be trouble now. It's three and one. This looks like it could be a rough one. You can't throw a strike. It's only the first inning. I'm not sure he's going to be around here very long. Fastball in there. Three and two. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded. And there are two away now. A designated hitter. The set and the 1-1. One, one. High in the air out to center field. 
Trout is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Second inning set to go, and set to go is the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. 1 1. Wow, I think the heart of this system is right on top of us because it is really coming down out there. This isn't an easy sport to play in the rain. Even count, two balls and two strikes. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Full count still. The next three, two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Next to hit is Matt Dice. Verlander sets his sights, coming home with the 1 1 pitch. Two balls, one There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. High in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Belted high in the air out to left. Brantley going back, still going back. Gone! Standing in now, Scott Schebler. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That except. And the next Georgia. up will be Franklin, Franklin Barreto. Barreto. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Over to first, oh. and that retires the side. Last half of the second set to go, and coming forward now is the shortstop, Freudis Nova. Fastball is swung on and missed. One and two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Batting it. Stepping up He's is Robo Garcia. Garcia. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next up is Garrett Stubbs trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east west we came up playing. 2 2 pitches fouled away. side scooped up throw the first with time to spare and the side is retired new inning set to get underway and that'll bring in the second baseman Mitch Ney fouled off And that misses two and two. Popped him up. One away here to begin the third. Now with the plate is Chad Waller. The catcher, number 40. 
Chad. Whoa. Change up just off the count. black, and it's two and one. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. The 2-2. Two -two gets him looking, strike three. Here's Dexter Fowler now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ross Adolph. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1-1 home. Lifted down the line and left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's no got feel for Number all his pitches. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Ross Adolph is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. So he punches now him out and looking at the fastball. Michael Brantley becomes Ready. out number two this inning. Uh, 3 1. Pulled toward right center field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now that first baseman, Taylor. Into the box now, Taylor Jones. Count still at one and two. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two, and two strikes. And two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. And now Joe Adele struck out in his last trip to the plate. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Count is 1 and 2 now. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Two balls, two strikes. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout, and there's one gone. The bat. Next, here is Mike Trout. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late one on ball, that one. Two strikes. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Safely. Into the box, Anthony Rendon. A oh, good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now back. And now in the box, Matt Thice. He got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one. The one-one home. Pitch out, Count. nothing doing. Trout is off of first with two away. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. And, oh, he thought he'd work the walk, but it's a called strike two now. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here.
Stepping in now, Scott Schebler. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Hit softly on the ground to third. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. So now to the plate, Franklin Barreto into the corner and slicing foul. Two out with the man at first. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. They'll extend their lead here as the runner scores from first. Now back. Second base. Mitch. In now. Yeah. Mitch Ney. Hit hard on the ground to second. Right to him. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Digging in will be number 13. He's 0 for 1 thus far. If you look at their win percentage or something like that right now, got to be honest, the odds are obviously stacked against them. But I'm looking for them to show me something right here. Maybe they get back in this game. Maybe they don't. But I want to see what kind of at-bats they put together. This is where you have to lock in as a team. Every guy has to go up to the plate and have a good, productive A-B to get this team going. Next up, Jordan Brewer flew out in his only at-bat so far. The 2-1 home. It's a fastball that misses. Three balls, one strike. Full count, three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. The batter, number one, good stop, Trey Hudy. At the plate for Yudi Slova. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now at the plate, here is Robo Garcia. Number three, second baseman, Garcia. The 3 2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it, and he makes the play to end the inning. So here is Chad Wallach. He'll be the one to greet Justin Verlander to start the inning. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in the switch hitting outfielder Dexter Fowler. Down the right field line. That's going to be down for a base hit. Possibly more than that. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Peter Solomon, six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. attention, please. Now pitching for the Skeeters, number 71, Peter. Into the box now, Joe Adele oh, lofted in the air out toward right center. Garcia onto the grass, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. To the plate now, Mike Trout. 
Well, right back at him, and it hit him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. Two out, runner in scoring position at second, and that'll bring up Anthony Rendon. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Has a look, now the pitch. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Count remains full. Next three two. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So next to bat will be Ross Adolph. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out, nobody on. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Gets a small piece near the plate. That winds up foul for the second strike. Hit in the air to center field. Trout has a read on it. Two gone. Here's Michael Brantley. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Now the one and one pitch. Inside, ball two. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Comes with the fastball, but it's outside for ball four. At the plate now is Ronnie Dawson. One for two with a double on his line thus far. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Seitz. And that home run he hit his last time up, he isn't going to forget about any time soon. He absolutely destroyed a fastball. One ball and two strikes to count. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Another try at 2-2. Two -two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Now, back. now to bat, Scott Shebler. Scott Shebler. Here comes the one-two. Is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now on two and two, but boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. So he punches him out looking at the fastball. Scott Shebler sent packing for out number two in the sixth. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Two out, nobody on. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Taylor Jones. I 
A ball and two strikes. The count is one and two. Got him. Aye. Next to dig in, number 13. The he bat. comes in 0 for 2 number thus 13. far. Bases are empty, one man out. That ball no two. offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. Hit down the line at first. But this that is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Popped him up. Nay ranges back and he has it for route number two. The now plate now is the designated the hitter, hitter, Jordan Brewer. A sure hit in two tries for him so far. Brewer. The 1-1. One, one. Ball, that's out. Nip the corner, two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. On a line, that's a base hit. Felix Pena takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Standing in now, Freudis Nova. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. When you've got a guy that throws a good two-seam fastball, you have to be ready for him to try to run it inside and jam you. Good job to lay off that one, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see it again. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Digging in, the switch hitter, Robo Garcia. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. And this one's up around the eyes. 2 and 1. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. 3-1, and he misses again, ball four, and that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Digging in next, Garrett Stubbs, over two from him so far in this one. Hanging changeup, laid off for a ball. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Fouled away. Two two here it is. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Brewer, the runner at third. Nova at second. Garcia on at first with two down. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down and the inning will continue. Now a third runner heading for the plate. He will score as they now trail by only two. The right fielder, number two. Stepping in now, Ross Adolph. And it's fouled away. Here's the one and two delivery. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Fastball is outside and it's full now, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Three runs already home here. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Coming on is Fowler. He's not going to get it. And the two-out rally continues. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. James Hoyt, a right-hander standing six foot six, will take over pitching duties here. Michael Brentley. At the plate now, Michael Brantley. Two balls. To two balls and two strikes now.
shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Oh, in time, and they stop the bleeding as this side is retired. So now into the box is Mitch Nain. Away for ball two, two and one. Takes this the other way to right, and there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. The catcher, number two, Chad Waller. Into the box, Chad Waller on the ground to the right side. A dive, but he can't get it, it's through into the outfield. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. At the play, Dexter Fowler. And that one yanked just foul. None out, runners at first and second. Swing and a liner. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And a big RBI there as the run scores from second to make this a two-run game now. Pedro Baez comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Now for the Steelers, number 52. To the plate now, Joe Adele. Five and two. Oh, on the ground to first. Can this be two? To second for one on the first. So he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious tee work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 3-2 pitch. Smoke toward third. He's right there. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Ronnie Dawson. The 2 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can now to bad. give the guy behind First him a base. chance to be the guy. So it was a strikeout swinging. Yo. Ronnie Dawson is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. A pie, two and one now. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. The pitch. Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Number 13. Ready now is number 13. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Struck him out. So he makes quick work of him here. Three straight strikeouts, and the side is retired. Set for the start of the inning, and the next hitter will be the right handed bat of Anthony Rendon. And a good take there will net him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batting. Into the box, Matt Seitz. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. On the first, and they get the double play. Next will be the designated hitter, Scott Shevler. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. You know, Matty, tough to go down looking right there, especially in a long at bat. 
I kind of tip my hat to the fact that he didn't go into oh. uber swing mode. He battled. He just got locked up. Look for him to have another quality AB. I think he's seeing the ball pretty darn big right now. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he fouls this one off. The next three, two. Now a slider here, but this will miss off the plate away, and it's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and the exciting middle infielder Franklin Barreto bats next. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Ladies Number 71 is on, and he'll complete. take over on the mound now in relief. Number 71. Now to the plate. Here is Jordan Brewer. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-1. One, one. That's out. him off a bit with a fastball in but it's three and one now yeah well down two. you better believe they gladly take a leadoff walk right here anything to get a base runner on and get that tight run to the plate crowd gets up for the three two four, and this down. is taken here for ball four so the leadoff man's on base to no kick batter. off the Number home eight and now here is Friudis Nova. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. And a sinker gets too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. These are the moments that don't always show up on the highlight film right here. Big spot. They have a chance right here. This guy mixes in a knock. They have a chance to get right back in this game. If not, if he grounds into a double play, it's pretty much over. The 3 and 1 pitch. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Digging in here for a pivotal at-bat, Rubble Garcia. And he represents the potential go-ahead run. Lined in to right, a base hit. And no sense risking anything here as the bases will be loaded now with still nobody out. Standing in now, Garrett Stubbs. Top to third, tough to get two. He's got it, one there, back to first, so they get the double play, but the run does come in to score. So stepping in is Ross Adolph, trying to bring in the time run from third here. The set, and the 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. So now to the plate, Michael Brantley back up the middle. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. Now back. The center fielder. Stepping in now, Ronnie Dawson. Hit on the ground out to short. That's through. He's got a base hit. His second in this one. Two for five now. Throw comes in quickly from left. So even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Into the box now. Taylor Jones. A little low. It's two and two. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Andre Scrub comes on from now the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Andre. Set to start the ninth in this one, and set to go is the second baseman, Mitch Nay. Oh. 
just hung in there on that one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first down. So now to the plate, Chad Wallach. It was a base hit last yeah. time up. Yeah. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And not a real one good ball. cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. And that is off the first base bag. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And they won't get an out from this as he's able to reach on a play that you just don't see very often. Right here. Dexter. At the play, Dexter Fowler. Hard liner towards short. In there, a base hit. And now Joe Adele on the ground to third. Scooped up. There's one. Back to first. A double play. And with that, the ball game is over. Yeah, and the home crowd is loving it as they jump out in front in the bottom of the eighth. And they did what they had to do in the ninth to seal the deal. And this afternoon's closes at a one-run game, 7-6 to six today. Sugarland came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Pedro Baez pitches well enough to get the W. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Our final line score. First for the victorious Peters, seven runs on ten hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base.